So let's get this off the bed and check it out. I can probably just wiggle this off. There we go. Ta-da! This thing is awesome. Let me get the supports removed and I really just barely used any supports, only used on the bottom and then the eyes here. Everything else, there's really no issues with the, with the print whatsoever. This turned out amazing. All right, so check it out. This is the Deathstroke mask printed in a pink Hatchbox PLA. This turned out amazing, absolutely amazing. So this file was created by Killing Us over on Thingiverse, and it's also available on my mini factory. I've got links down below where you can print it yourself. This file is amazing to work with, super easy. He also has this sliced up into multiple pieces if you have a smaller printer which is just absolutely great. He also has another option as well that has both eyes removed here or available for you to see out of, not just the one. I went with the classic Deathstroke look here. Obviously, it sh this should be in black and not in pink, but as you saw, I had a few issues with my previous prints. So just goes to show that no matter how much you try to make these perfect the first go around, you can still run into multiple, multiple issues and end up having to reprint your project a few different times. Hopefully it doesn't happen very often, but it's honestly, it happens more often than you'd think. But this turned out amazing. Again, it was printed on the CR10 here. I had supports, it was sitting upside down where it printed, so I just need to lightly sand and clean up this. The layer lines came out perfect. The only supports that I used were on the inside to support the eye. Everything else is super clean. There's a little bit of a lip around the mask and you can't really tell that there were no supports printed with that whatsoever. So here, let me slip this on just to make sure that it fits properly. And then the next steps are gonna be to paint it black and yellow or not yellow, what am I thinking? Orange here and get it looking like Deathstroke. This is great, absolutely great. I don't even have a strap or anything, it's just kind of hanging on my ears. This, the scale that I went with on this printed so much better than the original, which was just a little bit too small. Just a little, I could, I could get it on, but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't able to get my face all the way up in the mask for it to be comfortable as well as it was scraping like crazy the side of my ears and the side of my face to get that on. So if you're interested in printing one of these, head on over to Thingiverse. I've got links down below to Killing Us's profile. He does some amazing replica prop masks and I highly recommend you guys checking him out and following him. I've got links to his social media as well. Stay tuned over the next coming days or maybe week and I'll be posting some progress updates on this particular build and showing you how I finish it off, including having a um, carbon filter effect on one half of the mask. Very, very excited to try that out and see how it works. So stay tuned for that. I just want to say a special thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my viewers that are watching this. Maybe you're a lurker and haven't quite subscribed yet. I highly suggest hitting that subscribe button and I want to say a big, huge, huge thank you to all of my Patreon members. It really helps having your guys' support here each month to order filament and supplies and just keep doing what I'm doing here on YouTube. So I appreciate all your support, you guys, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed and stay tuned. Uh, we'll have some more updates here on this build in, again, as I said, in the upcoming days. So thanks again for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time. I'll see you soon, Batman. I think I need a sword or a staff or something like that. Just.